Hey yo Goat Format players, it's Gil Brown Magician here, and I am back with another episode of the Subscriber Recommended Series. So, Jimzo, you won. You had the most liked comment on the last video, so I built your deck, and here is Fiend Gate Man. I hope you enjoy, and for all the viewers, if you want to see your deck, potentially on this channel where I build a whole guide, I showcase the feature cards, I give you the full combo. And um, basically, all you gotta do is sub and leave a like down below. Whoever gets the most like comment, I will build your deck next. All right, let's get into it. So the fee the key cards, we have uh, Dark Necro Fear and <clears throat> Crazy Effect, where when it, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but when it leaves the field, um, you essentially get to equip it to a monster on your opponent's side and you get to snatch steal it. And it basically just attaches to that monster like an equip and then you get to take it. I think it's when it's destroyed by battle. I don't think it's just when it's destroyed, period. I think it has to be destroyed by battle. But it's a 2200 attack and then 2800 and it's special summon condition, you gotta banish three fiend type monsters. So the fiend type monsters that we're featuring in this Reasoning Gate build, we have to of course go with Dark Ruler Hades. Uh, he can't be special summoned from the graveyard, but he has this crazy effect where whenever fiend type monsters destroy uh, monsters by battle, you just negate their effects. So super crazy, and he even gives that effect onto other fiend types like Dark Necrofear and things like Lesser Fiend. Lesser Fiend by himself, um, I don't know why it's a level 4, my bad. It should be a level 5, but he's a level 5 fiend type monster. He has 2100 attack. His effect, just by himself, he just straight up banishes whatever he kills. So that's pretty cool that he can do that, and he can really get around recruiters, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> because recruiters, they have to be sent to grave and he can just, just banish them. Speaking of recruiters, we have the best fiend type recruiter. It's Giant Germ. I know, you're like, why? Ugh, he's a level two, he's a thousand. Why are you gonna put him in a reasoning gate deck? Well, if you play this deck other ways, it's just really difficult to get Dark Necrofear off. I really do think that Giant Germ, he's just the key to always having fodder for Dark Necrofear to banish off and to ensure her summon. And because we're playing a Reasoning Gate build, we just need to get Fiend type bodies into Graveyard. And if you open him, because we are, you know, running max copies, we're running him at three, um, you can quickly get out two more bodies and you can actually do a lot with them. So I'll show you in the replay, he's actually pretty nice. And he has a burn effect of when he's destroyed by battle, burn him for 500. And he special summons both copies from deck. So if you have two in the deck, he special summons both out. Pretty nice. Obviously, to bring all these banished fiend type monsters back, you gotta run Dimension Fusion. So those are some of the key cards. And let's get into the actual profile. So here's Fiend Gate. We are running a pretty bulky monster lineup, I know, for Reasoning Gate. But we got 26 spells in the one trap. <clears throat> and here's what I have. So, Jimzo, here's the Fiend Gate deck, man. And I still am running a tiny package of Lights and Darks. So, this is something that uh, in some of the replays, I was running only Fiend type monsters. And honestly, the Fiends on their on their own, they just don't generate enough advantage in a deck like this. And um, yeah, they do have cool effects, but you're just trying to swing in for game. It's rare that you're going to, you know, sometimes you can swing over the course of multiple turns, but you're trying to make a big push and you're really just trying to, you know, clear your opponent out um, with your push. You can, of course, accumulate damage beforehand, giant germ. Can get some chip damage in 1500 is nothing to laugh at especially in a reasoning gate build get some chip damage with some of your boss monsters and then you just go for your big play however fiend types on their own it was rough to do that i'm only running two dark necrofear because i don't want to see her in my opening hand 
I would rather see Giant Germ in my opening hand, then I can set up three fiends in my graveyard. Then later, I can draw into Dark Necrofear and I'd feel better about it. So I'm only running Dark Necrofear at two. I know you can mill past her, so that can be useful if you have her at three, you can mill past, but I, I didn't want to see her in my opening hand, so I'm running her at two. So I have two ways. These are basically two banishes, and then this is also another banisher. These are my three switches to get stuff into my banish pile. Obviously, Demok can put himself into the banish pile just by his effect. So, uh, but really, these are your three main cards of getting cards into your banish pile. I thought this was really key to even have BLS to get extra, you know, darks and lights into the banish pile, especially because Sacred Crane is just too good to get the draw. We're only running two, so we're not running max three. I was considering doing max three Sacred Crane um, instead of running the Air Knight Parshath. I know I was saying earlier trying to get the OTK, but there is some spice with the fact that he's level five. So I'll go over that in the stratagems. And yeah, actually, I just wanted to have, you know, more level variety too. People often call for and Reasoning Gate anyways, and it's, it's a bummer when they just hit Sacred Crane and get sent to Grave. And in this build, that's a little more, uh, that's a little more bricky, just because you're only running one way of banishing lights from the graveyard, as opposed to you know extra chaos sorcerers. So this is the monster lineup. Um, we are running a couple different things with the spells. Um, we're running one copy of Brain Control. This copy, uh, this card is just so good. Snatch and Brain Con in this deck are so good. So many c cards that they combo with. Obviously, the three Monster Gate, you like how they're right above the Monster Gate. This is intentional. I like to make my decks pretty for you guys, but honestly, I like it for myself. The organization helps my, my deck building. So, Snatch Steel, Brain Con, Monster Gate, right away. Right, so two card combo there really helps us dig into the deck. Also, because we're running Fiends, we have two level sixes. We, we have Jinzo, of course, because turning off traps is so powerful. And then we have Air Knight. So we have four options to even just go Brain Con, Tribute. Brain Con, Tribute into Jinzo. Brain Con, Tribute into Air Knight Parshat. So these cards just have a lot of value. Plus, we're even playing Metamorphosis. So, dude, if you can Brain Con their uh, Chaos Sorcerer, banish something. You know, banish one of their monsters with Chaos Orc and then meta into, you know, a level 6 fusion. Uh, it feels pretty nasty. And it gives you another body. You removed one of their monsters. It's just, it's nice. So, <clears throat> running Triple Scapegoat. Triple Scapegoat plus Giant Germ. You actually have a lot of ways of kind of stalling until you accumulate your cards. So, I actually really do like that about this uh, build. It's a little more durable. Um, even though it's Reasoning Gate, you have three Scapegoat as chainable um, blockers and then also giant germ uh, just a nice recruiter and can even pull two from the deck we have metamorphosis to go with our scapegoat and metamorphosis to go with just all these different levels that we have going meta into you know dark necrofear it brings out gatling dragon so you have you know three chances at monster removal so just lots of levels to play around with here Obviously, reasoning Monster Gate. Uh, we are running a very heavy uh, discard spell list. We have Card Destruction, Monster Reincarnation, and Lightning Vortex. Only two copies of Fusion because we only run the three. Um, we only run the three Banishers plus Dark Necrofear is a little unwieldy and it's a little more difficult to set up. So you don't want to see Dimension Fusion right away. Dimension Fusion is, of course, really good with Demok, um, but I still think that at two, it's fine, and you see it enough, and you see it at the right time. We are running Max, Triple Giant Trunade, and the Heavy Storm. We are running the One Swords of Revealing Light. I think that this could be swapped out with something else if you wanted to run something else. Um, that's up to you. Uh, I, I just always really love the Swords Prima with Giant Trunade. Um, you know, combo. I just really like looping swords, and it's just a nice card 
um, in Reasoning Gate when you need to stall. We're only running the one trap. I guess you could trade out swords and you could put in another trap. But I'm only running the one trap called the Haunted. It's really nice to bring back Jinzo. Super nice to bring back Jinzo. Um, because then you just summon Jinzo out and you just turn off all the other traps. And even if Call the Haunted gets destroyed, Jinzo will stay out still because you already negated Call with Jinzo's effect. Um, yeah, and Call just helps for those extra pushes. And yeah, Monster Reincarnation, there's just there's lots of ways to play with the graveyard in this deck. And you'll see why that's so important. So that's the uh, card rationale. I still think there's edits that you can make, but let's get into the stratagems. Um, yeah, if you guys have been appreciating this content, please leave me a sub. And if you leave me a sub, then leave me a comment. And then I might build a whole video for you. And I'll just straight up give you a guide for your deck. And then I'll make it look dope and... Yeah, it's fun because I, I really enjoy deck building for GOAT format and just really pushing, you know, cards that people don't typically get to see. And getting to see Fiends go in on a reasoning deck, it's it's just nice. So <clears throat> one of the key points, you have to stall until you get as many of your giant germs out of the deck. You can just gun it, you know, and there will be times where you just got to rip the reasoning or rip the monster gate and you have all three germs in deck you just got to go for it and just you know when you play this deck just take that mental calculation uh into consideration right as you're ripping reasoning as you're ripping monster gate just be aware that you know count how many giant germs you have in the deck at the time and you know just double check the probability and just be prepared for if you do hit a giant germ there are times where I run into the giant germs and I actually have some replays um, that maybe I'll put out in another video. Let me know if you want to see more Fiend Gate replays. I only got one in this one, but if you want to see more, let me know. Uh, giant Germ, it can be really nice because it's a really good normal summon. Honestly, just being able to have normal summons in a Reasoning Gate deck can actually be really useful um, because, you know, obviously having normal summon Monster Gate that's pretty nice. Plus, normal summon, giant germ, monster gated away. Now you have a fiend type in graveyard. There's just certain things that you want to do in this deck, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this is the spice and why I run two level fives in the deck. This is why I wanted to run Air Knight. Also because I wanted three lights for BLS, but also because with meta and any level five, you basically get to go into Balter, which is honestly just a really powerful fusion monster but he's also a fiend type which come on this is like the only deck where it's going to matter that Balter's a fiend type so it's just fun that you know you can meta a level five away and then go into another fiend type monster and if you have like dark ruler hadez then well i guess Balter already has a negate effect but yeah you can just have another fiend type and he fits the he fits the theme, so it's just it's just fitting. It's cool. All right, here's what I wanted to mention earlier. There's just so many ways to manipulate the graveyard. Obviously, reasoning and monster gate. There are mill cards, and they just set up graveyard for us. But also having something like a lightning vortex in hand to deal with whatever your dimension fusion brings back. It's essential. Maybe you need to clear out their scapegoats because you did. True nade and they change scapegoats, but it's still your main phase, so you can just go, oh, you have four blockers. Well, I'm just gonna monster gate it away, and I'm gonna load my graveyard with another fiend. Or I'm gonna load my graveyard with a light. So now my BLS can go off. So there's just lots that you can do. You're trying to set up your, you know, dark necrofear, you know, so you can card destruction away some, you know, lesser fiend, dark ruler hades, uh premature. Call the Haunted, this is all, there's just so many ways of playing with the graveyard and setting stuff up. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the replay and I'll show you some of the spice. All right, going into the gameplay here, uh, I lose the RPS and he's going to be able to go first, but that's okay. And 
open pretty well. We have Pot of Greed. He just has the Kaiku and he has no back row. So we just set the scapegoats and he does his draw, doesn't put anything else out, just swings in. And he swings over one scapegoat. He summons a Serp and I'm just building my cards up in hand. I did draw a Giant Germ, so I do have a normal summon on deck. A lot of times in Reasoning Gate, you don't have that normal summon to make that extra push. Yeah, sometimes you'll have the occasional Sacred Crane, you'll summon it, and you have an extra body, but Giant Germ, not only is it a body that can summon, um, you can normal summon, but it also special summons two monsters in attack from the deck too. So, he swung in, cleared two of my tokens, and I decided, you know, enough waiting, it's time, let's make the push. I have Jinzo. Now I get another copy of Giant Germ, which was a little unfortunate. Wish it was something stronger. It is what it is. And I summon my Giant Germ from hand. And we're going to just swing over the Serp. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to take the damage. And because I have no monsters in Grave yet, I'm going to... I'm actually going to just... Send Giant Germ to Graveyard. I'll take the 800. He'll take the chip damage. However, I get to summon out a copy of Giant Germ. So I can swing over with Jinzo. He kind of did it out of order. But I swing over with Jinzo. And then I'll have this extra copy of Giant Germ to do extra additional damage. So Giant Germ, he's like really cool to like manipulate. And you can honestly just crash into something and just do 1500 burn damage which is that that's kind of silly too which is i don't know there's just cool things that you can do with germ and i'm setting up my dark necrofear so i'm hoping i could get dark necrofear out and <clears throat> not sure yeah i think we're good now so i hit the swords just to keep my giant germs out maybe i shouldn't have done that i don't know and he goes serp meta to go Thousand Eyes Restrict to take the Jinzo off the field, but he can't swing in. And I still have, you know, my copies of Giant Germ. He summons a skilled brown magician, maybe. Uh, anyways, so yeah, he just summons out another body. And here, I draw into Dark Ruler Hades, and that's exactly what I was waiting for. Let me show you what I was thinking. Um, well, actually, I guess it doesn't really matter, but let me let me show you the play. So I go Giant Trunate, so I'm going to be able to recycle my swords and my Call of the Haunted and my Jinzo. So I'm able to put Jinzo back into my hand. I do have the Snatch. I take the Tear, and then I'm using his effect to steal Skilled brown magician i tribute over him and i have the dark ruler hades we're going in i didn't go jinzo i know you're like wow why wouldn't you go jinzo but i did it for the fans i did it for jimzo because he wanted a fiend gate deck so i'm not going to go in with jinzo i'm going to go in for that extra 50 damage let's go boys we did 44 50 he's at 12 50 life points i have um I have my Swords of Revealing Light and Call the Haunted, BLS, Dark Necrofear, Jinzo, two, three bodies on field. So yeah, lots I can do. These giant germs, you, being able to tribute over them for like your Jinzo, your Air Knight Parshath, to be able to set up your Dark Necrofear. Dude, there's just so much fun stuff you could do with this deck and it gets the win. So we're going to go into game two. So we got to show off the Fiend, Dark Ruler Hades, helping us out, helping us out. And he opens pretty nice, graceful, ditches the Serp and an Ashura Priest. So he's ready for my scapegoats, ready for my giant germs. He sided, and I, I didn't side. Oof, two back row and the DD Warrior Lady. Whatever will I do? I'll draw a Pot of Greed. And he does trap dust shoot me. So I'm I'm kind of bummed here. I really did want to hold on to my giant germ. And he has a hand knowledge, so my reasoning isn't gonna be as effective. Because he knows not to call an eight or four, which most people call. 
and then he sends my giant germ back to deck. So now my reasoning is really weakened because I have all three copies of germ. So I'm not sure what I was trying to do here. Oh, I think, okay, so germ was unfortunate and I think I was trying to get two bodies for Demok. Yeah, I'm not, hmm. I'm not really sure what the what the game plan was there. But here, he just allows me to send germ, and now I actually have two bodies, which actually does help me out because I have Dark Necrofear. He swings over with Ashura Priest. And I do have the scapegoats, but I'm still within range. And he lost his a thousand because of my giant germs. So 1500 and just giant germ damage brings it a little closer. And here I'm able to really go off. So I was able to draw into what I needed. I needed a tribute monster because I did have the brain con. I go brain con, he has no response. I'm really grateful because now I just tribute and Jinzo's on. So traps are turned off. And I do have my three giant germs in the graveyard. Traps are turned off. Bring out the dark necro fear. Here is the boss monster. So during the end phase, if he's in your graveyard because it was destroyed in your monster zone by an opponent's card. Oh, so if it's destroyed, period, and sent there, you get to target a face of monster your opponent controls and just snatch steal it. And you like equip card and then you take control of it, which is super dope. So we're going in and we're going to be able to poke for 4,600 here. Does he draw the out? I'm able to get the game. Dark Necro Fear. Let's go. Fiend Gate. Hope you guys enjoyed the replay. Um, let's go over into the, the last closing slide here and then I'll announce what's up and coming next for the channel. All right, so I'll see you in the Shadow Realm. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed Jimzo. Hope you enjoyed it, man. And yeah, for my subscribers, for my viewers, what should be up next? Maybe it will be your deck profile. All you gotta do, just leave me a sub, leave a comment below, and then I might build your deck. Even if it's not one that gets the most thumbs up, if I like it enough, I, I might just build it and then I'll even hit you up on Discord and we could chit chat about it. So let me know. Leave me a sub. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like. And I appreciate the love, guys. And I'll see you in the next profile. Take care, guys. Peace.